Hi everyone, Melanie Cameron here with the Cameron team at Coldwell Bankers Seacoast Advantage here in Wilmington, North Carolina. What do you mean I have to pay two different fees when I go under contract on a home? Yep, that's right. We negotiate two fees that you have to pay up front when you make an offer on a home. They are the due diligence fee and the earnest money deposit. So what's the difference between the due diligence fee and the earnest money deposit? A lot of buyers and sellers are confused about these two fees. When a buyer submits an offer on a home, there are two fees that are negotiated on the contract. The first is the due diligence fee. The due diligence fee is non-refundable and payable directly to the seller at the time of the contract. The buyer does get credit for having paid this money at closing, but if the buyer terminates the contract for any reason, they do not get their due diligence fee back. The due diligence fee is paid to the seller in exchange for having a period of time for you as the buyer to complete your due diligence. The time period for due diligence is typically three to four weeks, but can be shorter or longer depending on the circumstances. During the due diligence period, you'll have the opportunity to do inspections, confirm your financing is in place, basically investigate anything you want to in reference to the property. The second fee that is negotiated on the contract is the earnest money deposit. The earnest money deposit is typically payable to the listing company's trust account or the closing attorney's trust account. Again, the buyer gets credit for having paid the earnest money deposit at closing. The main difference between the due diligence fee and the earnest money deposit is that the earnest money deposit is refundable to the buyer during the due diligence period should the buyer choose to terminate the contract. However, at the end of the due diligence period, the earnest money deposit also becomes non-refundable. So, it is very important that if you aren't happy with inspections or your financing is not working out, you terminate the contract prior to the end of due diligence so you can get your earnest money back. After the end of the due diligence and through closing, the earnest money also becomes non-refundable. The amount of the due diligence fee and earnest money typically varies depending on the price of the home. If you have more questions about the fees associated with purchasing a home, we are happy to answer any of your questions. Feel free to call or text at 910-233-2840. We also have some excellent resources online at thecamerateam.net to help you through the buying process. We look forward to helping you with all your real estate needs.